but it's people who are working in various disciplines who who think that basically no work of literature since mary shelley's frankenstein has done more to cultivate our awareness of technology, science and technology, and the sort of unforeseen or unintended consequences of science and technology. And it's, it's just a group of people who are trying to put together you know, um, pedagogic resources, so teaching resources that for, for teaching the themes of Frankenstein in various disciplines from drama to science and technology studies to sociology of science and maybe even engineering. Um, so putting together teaching tools, there's a workshop, um, some art projects actually, so it's quite interdisciplinary and it's all housed through that portal, the Bicentennial Frankenstein Project. Uh, Dr. Robin Whitaker in drama is going to be the official moderator, so I guess I shouldn't speak to the questions he may or may not ask, but I, I mean the reason that he and I thought of collaborating actually around the production, the Theatre New Brunswick production of Frankenstein in our classes at Stu is because, you know, obviously the play written by Canadian playwrights relates to Canadian drama, um, but also I think at large the play relates, relates to the bigger themes of science and technology studies. And so I'm going to hone in on two themes, two actually concepts within STS. And one is the unintended consequences of technologies. So, and, and it's pretty obvious when you think about it, right? Um, you know, Victor Frankenstein, he doesn't really give life, but he he revives, right? And he and he mashes together these organ parts that, that on their own, they seem pretty benign, right? Or they are, I mean, they're not living even, right? Yeah. And then he, 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 he gives them life um, and a new form of life as a system, right? So these parts that on their own are pretty inoffensive or in fact fine, as together as a system, they create these kind of monstrous effects. And there's a great analogy there with technology. So Mary Shelley, when she um, published Frankenstein, that was really the beginning of technological systems. And the and the unique and somewhat troubling thing about technological systems is that, you know, we might, as a designer, an engineer, as a social scientist looking at technology, understand the individual parts of the system, and yet when they come together, they create sometimes unintended or um, even revenge effects, right? Like yes, as as happens in Frankenstein.